Mark Henry's power completely consumes his opponents. When the world's strongest man pulverizes a superstar, it feels like you're being pummeled by five men. And that's if he's in a good mood. Mark Henry, no problem getting out of that one. Oh, look out here. Man, Mark Henry, what offense. Kane with the excellent move to get out. In all my years commentating in WWE, I don't think I've ever seen an audience frozen with fear like when Kane makes his way to the ring. The organ music, the fire and brimstone, the destruction. I mean, Kane sends chills through everybody, even the fans watching at home. You darn right, Kane's a monster. What are your thoughts on Mark Henry? Mark Henry's building a case right now why he is the alpha male of the WWE. Well, he's the world's strongest man. It's not a hard case to make. Nearly driven through the mat. Look at these two giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. I've always felt when Kane's music plays and you hear that organ, it's like a warning. Everyone should just play it safe and run. Kane had so many looks and monikers over the years, but one thing has remained a constant. Kane's desire... to destroy. Believe me, the WWE audience has witnessed enough of Kane's work to know that. If you haven't done it yet, check out WWE.com. You'll find updates and blogs from all your favorite superstars. Yeah, and don't forget to check us out on Twitter. It's at Jerry Lawler and at Michael Cole. Right, Michael Cole? Yeah, that's original. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy. He may never walk the same after that backbreaker. Literally and figuratively, Kane has been a giant part of the WWE for years and years. It's hard to imagine how the company would have evolved without the Devil's favorite demon around for all that time. Well, just think of the types of matches Kane has invented or had invented for him. First blood matches, inferno matches, stretcher matches, even until death do a part match. The Big Red Monster has had a hand in some of the most unique and exciting moments of the past two decades in the WWE. And Kane manages to reverse out of that one. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Oh, Kane is building up some serious momentum right now. We talked about how different the WWE would have been without Kane. For one thing, just think of how many fewer people would have been set on fire. Who? Undertaker, MVP, just to name a couple. Things wouldn't have been the same without all those pyrotechnics. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. We're looking at great counter. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. <laughs> Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Well, call me a traditionalist, but I'm not sure we need performers setting each other on fire like Kane enjoys doing. But even so, that doesn't take away from his legacy. Kane's a superstar that turns every match he's in into a must-see event. Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration tonight. The official is out of it. These are great competitors. The shoulders are down.
finding a groove here. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Anytime Kane enters the squared circle, things just take on a different level. Between his size and his sheer physical presence, when he steps over that top rope and fire shoots from those ring posts, intimidating doesn't even begin to describe it. Terrifying might be a better word for it, Michael. But you're right about his size. At seven feet, 300 plus pounds, he's no munchkin. But that's just a minor part of what makes the devil's favorite demon such a threat. His power and his cruelty complete the pick. Oh, Kane's going to squeeze the light right out of him. Oh, Kane pulling a page from the book of Baron Von Rasky, or maybe the Von Erichs with that ball. Thank you for choosing to watch WWE on this Monday night. We promise to bring you a great night of action. And talking about what makes Kane the monster he is, we can't leave out the fact that the man is almost impervious to pain. I mean, he is a creature that could have a bomb dropped on him and just keep coming forward. He's too busy bragging and boasting that battle in this matchup. Look out! Four. Five. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action Six. inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. Seven. Back in the ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they can keep it in the ring. I think we've summed up the Big Red Monster pretty well. Size, power, toughness, and an absolutely merciless attitude. I say that's a pretty good formula for success in WWE. Uh-oh, look at this! Oh man, how do you stand after an attack? Here's the cover! Mark Henry with good timing here. The excellent move to get out. It's like the momentum is reversed here. Look at him, Michael. I mean, those moves have really started to add up. Kane has had such an amazing WWE career. So many singles championships. A multi-time tag team champion. Heck, Kane's even caught the eye of WWE Divas. But in the end, it always goes back to one thing for the big red monster. The horrors of his childhood haunting him to unleash his fury on WWE superstars. This might be it. There it is, the headbutt on all fours. An all four headbutt. Impressive. Look how slow he is to recover here. The shoulders are down. Two, three. He did it. What a huge win. I can't believe what we saw. You want to talk about crowd pleasing. Oh boy, that was a spectacular one in a million is the only way to describe this match. Here's your winner, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. That's a win you remember for a long time. And talk about displaying a never say die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.